I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here's your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, January 29th to Monday, February 5th, 2018. Now, what's going on this week is that we do have Mercury hanging out right here at the very last degrees of Capricorn, which for you, Leo, is in your sixth house of your job, of your, um, of your daily routines, and of your health. Okay, so I think there's a lot of thinking here about your job, about what you do on the day to day, and about your health in some way. Okay, with Mercury, the very last degrees of Capricorn making a square over to Uranus at the very, very end of last week. <laughs> and with Uranus being in your ninth house of something new, there could have been something unexpected that did come up at the very end of last week. Some kind of unexpected news in regards to something new perhaps that it is that you're doing at your job on the day to day or with your health. Because this is Uranus and because this is a square, it could have been very jarring, a little bit uncomfortable, this news that came up in regards to something new that you're doing on your job and on the day to day. Okay, I do think, however, that even if this news and this communication that you had about your job and about what's going on there was a little bit uncomfortable, I do think in the end that it was supposed to help you in some way. That's because after Mercury came off of this square to Uranus last week, on Monday of this week, Mercury then moves into a sextile over here with Chiron, which is in your eighth house of your changes. Sorry, my pen over here getting a little funky with my writing. <laughs> but Mercury then comes into a sextile over here with Chiron in your eighth house of changes. Okay, so I think anything unexpected that came up at the end of last week that may have been a little bit upsetting in regards to something new or just a little bit jarring here in regards to something new that was going on at your job, I think this week is helping you to figure out what changes it is that you need to make in your job, your daily routines, or your health to move forward. Perhaps some unexpected news that came up last week helped to expose some weak spots here in your routines and in your health that this week you can make some changes to make better, uh, to overcome, to do things in a way that's differently for you that can help you to move forward, okay? So even though this unexpected stuff in regards to your job could be hard, I think it's going to help you begin to create more of the life that it is that you want on the day-to-day in some way now that you know where your weaknesses and your strengths are okay so i see that coming in there as you're trying to change your job change your daily routines and change your health for the better i think there's also a lot of focus going on right here where venus and the sun are on the south node in your seventh house of partnerships in aquarius okay so as you're trying to change your job change what you do on the daily on the day to day to make it better to create more of the life and the job and the daily routines that it is that you want i think there's a lot of thought for you and a lot of focus coming in here on relationships on other people that you can work with uh, in some way here um, on your job on the day to day to help you do something better at work than it is that you have before okay and i think you're starting to think how you can work with other people in the right or in better ways so that you can move forward and reach some big goals and dreams of yours okay and that's going to happen on tuesday all right now as you're starting to think about relationships partnering with people on your job how to make the changes to let more of the right relationships in or to work better with people here we do have the lunar eclipse <laughs> a full moon lunar eclipse coming up on wednesday right here in leo Okay, and I think what that is telling you to do on Wednesday is sure to change your job, to change your daily routines for the better and to begin to think about how you can work with other people here to create more of the life that it is that you want, but to at the same time and preferably before you start going all in with other people to make sure that your own needs are taken care of, to make sure that you are fine, that you have everything that you want, that you know what is important to you, that you know what makes you happy and what you need, okay? And I think that's a big message that's going to be coming in on Wednesday. Wednesday. All right, that as you're thinking about working with people here better on the day to day or to create more of the life and the job that it is that you want, that you make sure before you throw yourself into these relationship chapters that are going to come at the solar eclipse in Aquarius later this month, that you first have everything that you need so that you can more wholeheartedly and more comfortably step into relationships and work with other people than you could have previously, okay? So I think that's what's going on there. As you're trying to take care of some of your own needs and some of 
of your own desires <laughs> um, before it is that you move forward and partner with other people going on. I think there is lots of, yeah, just lots of thinking that's happening, okay? We do have a Mercury in the middle of the week around um, Thursday move here into Aquarius as well. So while you're thinking about your own needs and what you need to feel better, I think you're increasingly getting more and more pressure here to work with other people, to have relationships that it is that you want and need at the same time, okay? I think you can see here that these relationships, if you work with people, are going to be good for you. All right, that's because we do have Mercury as it moves into right here, the very beginning degrees of Aquarius, um, also making a sextile over here to Mars in Sagittarius, which is in your fifth house of happiness. Okay, so I think you can see that the more you work with other people here on the day to day or at your job or work, it is going to make you happy. It's going to make you just enjoy life more. The more you can work with uh, um, other people in some way, okay, or do some things that it is that you really like. So I think it's a good thing for you to work with other people here. I think it can also help you to do something new that it is that you've been trying to do as well, but first needing to make sure that your own needs are being taken care of in the process and that you've got everything in your life under control <laughs> before you can start really working with other people in some way. Okay, so I think that's the big message of this week. Then after you're trying to figure those two things out, get yourself in order so that you can work better with other people. Venus does come into a square with Jupiter on Sunday at the very, very end of the week. Okay, and Jupiter is right here in your fourth house of home and a family. So I think as you're starting to think more about how you can partner with other people to create more of the life that it is that you want and how you can be happier with other people, I think it could be a little bit unsettling for you emotionally with all of this focus on other people coming in. <laughs> Maybe not quite sure how to be emotionally comfortable with some relationships in your life, uh, some people that are coming into your life or things that are going on there. Maybe also not feeling quite sure either how you can begin to build on your relationships or really build a solid footing and solid foundation uh, on your relationships or with your relationships moving forward, okay? So I think that could be a thing that you have to balance here. Knowing relationships are good for you and to help you create the life that it is that you really want and to help you be happy, but trying to figure out how to emotionally engage with other people in a way that works, how to really build solid and stable relationships that are good for you in the process and how you you can make sure that your own needs are taken care of so that you can have the best relationships for you that really resonate with you in the meantime okay so that's what I see going on for you this week Leo now your card for the week is the ace of swords reversed so this to me could definitely be more hard communication coming up this week of course because the swords to me do rule your thoughts and <laughs> your mind also conversations you have with other people and of course the ace of swords being reversed so um, could be some comfortable still conversations that come up maybe some things that are, are a little bit difficult for you could also be um, hard to get insights this week as well maybe feeling like the clarity you want in life isn't coming maybe that it's hard for you to make some decisions as well or that you aren't getting the insights that it is that you need and I think the message of this card here is to do your best to maybe be decisive in your life to get rid of some confusion in your life um, and, and to bring that clarity to you okay I think this card is also to a message to say if you feel like it's just hard for you to understand your life and understand what's going on too and if you feel like you can't make decisions if you feel like that's super hard for you to just be patient to give it a rest to wait for a little bit until the insight comes okay and to not make it worse in the process all right you don't beat confusion by making things more confusing <laughs> uh, you either try to be more decisive about things try to get that clarity or you just wait for the confusion to pass okay and i think that's the message of this week here there's a lot of good things going on for you to create more of a life that you want and to work with other people to do it, but maybe having to wait for the, the clarity to come, okay? Maybe also needing to make sure you're gathering all the information that you need with the swords card and that you're communicating with your relationships and with people in the process to make sure that you can move forward in the best way coming in, all right? So that's what I see going on for you this week, Leo. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.